How are you doing? You all well? Yeah! Come on! You right up the back! Lovely. Hi. Hello to you, sir, down there. Very distinguished-looking gentleman down the front. The, uh, good Lord. Hi. There. Are you not freezing? Look at you in nothing more than a bra. Good Lord! <laughs> the, uh, sorry, that was a woman. That was the one for the... Just for the blue people at the back. That wasn't the distinguished gentleman down the front. <laughs> Look at you, distinguished gentleman, wearing nothing but a bra. <laughs> the, uh, that's a way to put somebody off, isn't it? At the start of the show, I come walking out, and there's just a man with a moustache and glasses just sitting there in a lady's bra. <laughs> Hello there. The, um, especially if it's the woman he's sitting next to, right down there. Just like, uh, hmm, she's... Ah. The, um, sorry, it's not. It's some sort of... It's a nice... I'm not... It's a lovely, lacy type top. It's just where you're sitting and at the angle the stage is at, I could only see here. And I went, she's in a bra! The, um, which is quite nice. The, uh, Sorry, I didn't mean... I'm sorry, sorry. Show your faces! I was trying to get myself out of a sexist hole that I dug for myself. I was going, I like your bra. The, um, great. Welcome to the show. It's an evening with a sex criminal. I'll just be walking around and say, I like your bra, it's lovely. Sorry, I'm so sorry. I was only trying to... Ma well, this is going great tonight, isn't it? Look at that. I walk out on stage and just cause sexual harassment of a lady in the front row. It's a lovely top. Please stick with it. The, uh, the, that could be a terrible thing, couldn't it, by the interval? Because there's an interval later on. If I come back out in the second half and you're wearing a full burqa, well, I just sat like this. It was only a lacy top. It was quite warm earlier on. I didn't realise it was going to point it out. Mistaking it from, for lingerie. The, um, yeah, no, don't. Uh, the, uh, I mean, you can. It's up to you. I mean, I'm not telling you. OK. The, um, so, uh, you know what would be funny is if later on in the show, if I came back on in the second half and you were all just wearing bras. Ah, <laughs> uh, I know that's quite a, that's a practical joke on quite a grand scale. You know, ladies, you'd probably be fine. Fellas, you'd probably have to run out into the street and pay, excuse me, can I buy a bra off you? It's going to be a hilarious practical joke on Ross. Please, just imagine that, sir, you having to go up to women in the street. I'll give you money for for your bra. That'd, that'd be even worse than me saying that to you, wouldn't it? If you had to sell us your bra for cash. You know, the, uh, it's probably not the way you would do it. Just, excuse me, could I buy your bra off you? Don't just run up to him and go, sell us your bra for money! You know, that's no way of doing it. Anyway, so, and also, you lot right up the very back there, you're in darkness. I wouldn't be able to see the bras, and it wouldn't. Anyway, so, the, um, oh, God, anyway, it's good. Good to have you here in the front. What was your name, by the way, distinguished gentleman? Sorry? David! Excellent. Please, I'm only pissing about. You're looking at me as if to say, I'm not wearing a bra, Ross. <laughs> I'm happy to join in and chat to you, but I won't be wearing ladies' clothing for your pleasure. <laughs> the, um, no. You're right, relax. Just, I've never seen a man not want to join in more than anything. David's looking at me like, please, just fuck off. <laughs> The, um, anyway, so what was your name, my... my what, sorry? Matty. Excellent. Matty or Matty? Matty. Matty. thanks. All right, I'm not retarded. <laughs> Jesus! Matty! <laughs> it's Matty! Do you understand me? <laughs> All right, calm down, Jesus. First, he accuses me of wearing nothing but underwear, and then he doesn't understand my simple... Uh, Matty! <laughs> sorry, yes, Mad, Mad, Matty. Yes, thanks. That's great. Are you just, yeah, just going? He's a, he's an idiot. Look at him. He understands nothing. The, um, what, what do you do for a living, Maddie? A, a student. So what, what do you study? Still at high school. Oh, it's me saying you're in a bra. Probably shouldn't have happened. <laughs> <laughs> move away. Move away. Step away from the semi-clad girl. Step away. <laughs> the, uh, oh, dear, I do apologise. Is that your mum with you, Maddie? Yeah, I can tell, cos she's looking at me like... <laughs> <laughs> the, um, sorry, it was a simple mistake. I could tell it was your mum. Look at her going... 
I will kill you where you stand. Sorry, I'm just saying, I was confused when I first walked on because of the excellent, I say, what do you want to do when you leave high school? Now your mum's covering her face like that, just going, well, I told her to wear more clothes, but what can I do? <laughs> do you? It's nice, I'm not having a go there. What do you hope to do? What? Journalism, oh, brilliant. What sort of uh, local papers or the news? You haven't even thought it through. There's a woman after my own heart right there. <laughs> Just and then see what happens. Fair enough, yeah. You might want to see if you are going to be a news journalist, try and get posted somewhere quite hot. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, shut up, it's a fair... It's... It's good advice, I'm just saying, if you, you know, wearing... Good, no, you know, I'm just... It's... Yeah, you know, you don't want to be... Uh, get posted to, say, Iceland or somewhere like that. They'll be going, here's Maddie with the report. You, went, arr, arr, arr. you know, we'll just see David in the background stealing clothes off Eskimos. Give it to I'll buy it for $50! <laughs> Oh, in you come. Don't worry, latecomers. Bloody hell. Jesus Christ. How... What size group of latecomers is that? That's, that's not just a group of mates that have turned up late. That's... There's the bloke at the front playing a pipe and dancing. <laughs> Everyone behind them just going, we don't want to follow them, we just are. <laughs> Just a load of kids and rats dancing along like this. <laughs> we don't know. We hear the pipes and we can't help ourselves. <laughs> the uh, welcome along. Oh, jeez, are you all? Are you all mates together? I'll get back to you, Maddie. Don't worry. It's the <laughs> going, I'd rather you didn't. Thanks. <laughs> the uh, are you all one big group? Yes. yes! Wow, group of mates or work colleagues or <laughs> Ho homies. <laughs> Yeah, big up yourself, badasses. <laughs> Jesus. Homies! What kind of gangster rap dickheads was that? <laughs> yeah, that would help if you weren't the whitest people on earth. <laughs> in fact, you're so white, in a few years' time, Maddie will be reporting from your homes. <laughs> Here in the Arctic conditions. These homies! Yeah, don't homies as a rule, like badass mofos and that, don't they tend to do like, that's what the young people say. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'll write that down, Ross, thank you very much. <laughs> badass, what was it, mofos? OK, certainly. <laughs> The... <laughs> yeah, feel free to use that in your day-to-day, -day, you know. <laughs> well, I was walking down the street when some badass mofos came past me. <laughs> I don't mind telling you. Yeah, bigging themselves up they were as well. Oh, I came back on their bad selves. <laughs> the, um... The, what do you do for a living, actually, David? Do you, uh, A what? A console operator. Oh, I see. So probably working in the badass mofo language probably doesn't doesn't really. What sort of console do you operate? It's not just like an Atari, is it? <laughs> it's like a... <laughs> I'm busy. I'm playing Donkey Kong. <laughs> if that's badass morphos, come round for me. Tell her piss off. <laughs>